During the Allen Iverson era, the Philadelphia 76ers were oftentimes associated with hip hop culture and that was even embraced by the organization by having their mascot be Hip Hop the Rabbit throughout the time. However, shortly after Iverson's retirement from basketball, hip hop was removed as the Sixers mascot because although he was known for some cool dunks, many fans found him creepy and the new team ownership thought he was outdated. The original story from the team was that Hip Hop found another bunny that he fell in love with and they went off to start a family. But in 2014, Sixers CEO Scott O'Neill stated in an interview, Sadly, Hip Hop is dead and buried and will not be coming back. Now with Hip Hop gone, the Sixers had no mascot, but the organization wanted to create a new mascot to represent the new era of Sixers basketball, later known as The Process. To make the new Sixers mascot, the organization hired Jim Henson's Creature Shop to oversee the design and creation of the mascot. Jim Henson's is responsible for the design and development of some of the most popular creatures in history, like the Coca-Cola Polar Bears, the head of popular music artist Dead Mouse, and most notably, the cast of The Muppets. With such expertise at their service, the Sixers worked alongside the Creature Shop to create three mascot concepts that they would debut on December 5th, 2011. To make this decision more interactive with the fans, it was announced that there would be a fan vote held on the team's website until December 9th, and the winner would be the team's next mascot. But what did these three mascots look like? Mascot number one's bio read, The All-American Pet, B. Franklin Dog, is a loyal Philadelphia resident who can be seen in artist drawings from the day nestled under the table beside Ben Franklin as he deliberated on the founding of the nation. In the revolutionary fervor of the times, B. Franklin Dog proudly wore patriotic colonial garb to show his spirit. Over the years, B. Franklin Dog was occasionally seen playing with a basketball around the historic landmarks of Philadelphia, before finally making his way up to Broad Street to the Wells Fargo Center. Mascot number two was described as one of the most regal animals to roam the wild, Phil E. Moose, certainly fits that bill. Standing tall as he represents the Sixers, he stands over seven feet tall in fact with the antlers. In his youth, Phil E. Moose would often be seen dunking a basketball with ease, aided by his great height. Throughout his high school, collegiate, and professional games, Phil E. Moose was a scoring star and was excited to learn he had been traded to the 76ers in order to entertain fans during games at the Wells Fargo Center. Finally was mascot number three, one of the most revered figures in American history and the man who needs no introduction as an honorable representation of the city and nation. Big Ben Franklin will now come back to serve Philadelphia yet again. An avid basketball fan, Big Ben was thrilled when asked to join the Philadelphia sports fans in cheering the 76ers on to greatness. As the Sixers' new mascot, he will bring electricity to the Wells Fargo Center and be a towering presence at Sixers games, both figuratively and literally as he stands 7 feet tall. The four-day fan vote had some minor local media coverage, but ultimately the fans chose Phil E. Moose as their favorite design and as the mascot to represent the Philadelphia 76ers going forward. And now you can see the moose entertaining the Philly crowd at every home game. He does cool dunks between quarters, he shoots t-shirts into the upper decks, and he takes pictures with children. Right? No, actually that's not what happened. What actually happened was Philly Moose won the fan vote and there were a few reactions on Twitter. The team ended the vote on their website and that was it. There was no official announcement, no follow up, nothing. But okay, it's fine. Creating a new mascot takes time, so it's all about patience. The fans have to wait for the Sixers and Creature Shop to create the mascot costume because of course it will take a long time to make everything perfect and professional. So fans and the sports media forgot about it and went about their days arguing about Sam Hinkey, tanking in the NBA, and the future of basketball. For the next four years, the Sixers would go from being a mediocre NBA team just barely making the playoffs to being a team that had three of the worst losing seasons in NBA history on purpose because of their goal of building a championship contender in the future. Some fans got bored of the product and did not support what the organization was doing, but others, like the Rice to Ricky Sanchez podcast guys, created a cult fan base based on the idea of the process and building the Sixers team for the future. Then, in January of 2015, the Sixers released this video on their website.
And on February 10th of that same year, the new mascot of the Philadelphia 76ers was revealed to be Franklin, a blue dog. A blue dog. A blue dog is what the organization chose to represent the young and up-and-coming basketball team that was about to get really good with the additions of generational players like Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. Even though the team's fans chose a unique looking moose to represent the team four years prior because it is so unique and the city really embraces its unique mascots like the Philly Fanatic and later on Gritty for the Flyers. And like the Sixers organization expected, there was no serious fan outrage about the reveal because most people completely forgot about the vote and didn't really care for the new mascot anyway. Granted, there was a few people talking about it in news articles or portions of podcasts, but that didn't really garner any attention anyway. And that's the problem with Franklin being the team's mascot. Franklin is a generic looking dog mascot with the only thing tying him to the team is his blue fur and the fact that he wears a Sixers jersey. Mascots are supposed to bring entertainment to fans during games and should inspire fans to cheer for the team. But because of the lack of Franklin's uniqueness, he cannot really bring a city together to cheer for their basketball team. He's not really known for anything cool, like some dunks or anything interesting in his act like other mascots across the sports world. Even the man inside the Franklin suit is not a Sixers fan, but rather a New York Knicks fan. He had made numerous tweets slandering the Sixers team, which is just disappointing to see. How is someone that is paid to inspire passion in a basketball team, inspire passion when he has no passion for the team himself? Overall, as a Sixers fan, and as a fan of the culture around sports teams, I think Franklin is a boring mascot, and the whole mascot situation was a mistake by the organization. If the team had just gone with the original fan choice of Phil E. Moose, the city of Philadelphia would be known across the sports world for having the best mascots in the country. In addition to the Philly Fanatic, Gritty, and a decent looking swoop, the Moose could have made the fans in the city and the 76ers team have a closer bond than it is now. Unfortunately, that's not the way the dog barks. Wow, that was bad.